The new Mercedes AMG SL is the latest edition of an automotive icon. I'm sure there's a lot here that connects it to its roots, and I cannot wait to see what's new. My name is Nick, and I couldn't be more excited to learn about this Reborn Classic with Brian, the product manager for the car. And of course, I can't wait to drive it. Brian, how's it going? Good to see always. How's it going? So what's with the, the soft top? Is that, is that back? Yes, yeah, so the soft top is back for the first time in many years. It's part of our, our clean slate design for okay. this all new SL. And the color? This is Manufacturer Hyper Blue. It's a, a really cool new color. It's one of about half a dozen new colors we have on the SL. Okay, and tell me about some of the features that this car has. Well, first of all, this is a SL55, okay. and behind you we've got a SL63. So this is the launch lineup we have for the SL in the US. Both models developed entirely by AMG from a blank slate, and uh, yeah, it's the, the greatest SL of all time. And what features would you say really set this car apart from other cars? So for the first time in the SL, we have all-wheel drive, and we have rear axle steering, two features that help the car become more dynamic and more usable. The car looks bigger. It is. It's a bit bigger in every dimension. It's a little bit longer. It's a little bit wider. There's a little bit more room inside for passengers. But all of these things are done with a purpose. By making the car wider and longer, it's more sure-footed on twisty back roads. And what about this grille? This grille is definitely different. Yeah, so what you're looking at is the AMG-specific grille on the front of this car, which is derived from the Carrera Panamericana winning SL from the 1950s. We've got a really cool retractable spoiler in the rear and all sorts of other AMG touches throughout the car. All right, Brian, so this blue one here. This hyper blue. Hyper blue. This is the? This is the SL55. This okay. is 469 horsepower. And what's the difference between this one here and the one standing right here? Yeah, so the one behind you, this is the SL63. This is the, the top of the SL lineup. 577 horsepower, okay. limited slip differential. We've got a race drive mode, more aggressive suspension. It's, it's really the, the top of the SL lineup. And I mean, that's pretty crazy considering this is a four seater. Four seat car. It's the first time we've had a four seat SL in a, a really long time, actually. And seeing that this is a convertible, the first question you probably get is trunk space. Trunk space. The trunk is really big. And no matter if the top is up or down, the trunk size stays the same. So you could fit a bag of golf clubs. You could have enough luggage for a weekend away. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really no compromises for a convertible. I think I'm ready to get in and drive. Let's check it out. Thanks. So what do you think? The screen's the first thing that stands out. Is this fixed or is this adjustable? No, so you can actually adjust the angle of the screen. So if you have the top down, you can make the screen go almost vertical so that the glare doesn't get in your eyes while you're driving. Awesome. And how about this screen here? Is this also digital? It is. That's uh, what we call the hyper analog gauge cluster. So it has a surround like you would have in a traditional 300 SL from the 1960s, but there is a digital screen inside. And can I adjust the settings on this? So there's a bunch of different themes you could select. You could change the layout of the gauges themselves. You could change some of the colors. And then you could look at all sorts of cool information on the screen, whether it's just a traditional tachometer, speedometer. You could look at G-forces, all sorts of fun stuff. And what are these little little wheel buttons here? Those are called the AMG Drive Unit Steering Wheel Buttons. The one on the right-hand side lets you select your drive mode. So whether it's sport, comfort, race, etc. The one on the left lets you choose how stiff the suspension is, how loud the exhaust is. Uh, you can even switch it to a fully manual shifting mode. Nice. These seats, I mean, these seats are pretty yeah. comfortable. So tell me tell me a little about what, what I'm sitting on. Yep, so these are really nice seats. They're, uh, they're called AMG multi-contour seats. So okay. these have massaging function. These are heated and cooled. And the best thing about these seats, they're standard. So uh, you get a massaging seat no matter what SL you get. And on cold days, what's in this car that keeps me warm? Yeah, so if you have the top down and the weather's a little bit cooler out, if you notice there's a button on the door, it's to indicate that this car has air scarf. It's a, a vent kind of behind your neck. Okay. When you hit the button, a warm breeze flows over your neck and shoulders. It helps you uh, stay a little bit warmer on cold days. So what about the storage in here? Yeah, we have a lot of storage spaces from kind of this uh, this cubby where you put your elbow. We've got two high-speed USB chargers located in here. Okay. We've got two cup holders and a inductive wireless charger for a phone inside here. Side note, uh, this car is wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you can put your phone in here, you can kind of close the lid, forget about it, it'll charge, and you have the full Android Auto or Apple CarPlay environment, no wires required. One of the other cool features you can get in the SL, it's called Guard 360. It's a more advanced security system for the car, okay. where if someone happens to back into you in the parking lot or, or something like that, the car automatically will take photos of all the surroundings and you can either review those on your phone or right here in the infotainment system so you'll know uh, if someone hit your car and, and didn't leave a note like they should. Wow, very convenient. Yeah. So what do you think? I think I'm ready to drive. Sounds good. Let's go. These 
roads are really incredible in, in the mountains of North Georgia. I know you live around here and you're lucky you get to drive on these probably every day if you wanted to. Yep, this is, uh, I guess you could say, my, my stomping ground <laughs> on the weekends. Um, but yeah, it definitely is a, a driver's paradise. And I can't think of a better car to be on these roads than the new SL, top down. We've got the, uh, the cooled seats on, ventilated seats blasting. I got my massager going as well, my seat massage. So it's, it's comfortable, we're cruising on some really cool roads out here. Brian, tell me about this, this heads-up display here. Yeah, so in front of you, you've got a, a really cool, really high-definition head-up display that could really show you any sort of information you'd want to see about the car, whether that's your speed, turn-by-turn -turn directions. You can even have a tachometer up there, so if you're really driving quick, you can change gears at the peak moment when it really matters the most. So that's fun, and on the SL63, head-up display is actually standard. Very nice. And the acceleration in this is pretty amazing. So what's what's the zero to 60? It's rapid. So we're saying the zero to 60 time is about 3.3 seconds okay. for this model. It's quick. It's very quick. And the other thing you notice as you're accelerating is the really great exhaust note. That's coming from the four liter V8 by turbo engine under the hood. And the exhaust system's got these flaps that allow more or less exhaust sound to come out of them. So on a road like this, you really want to hear the exhaust burbling and making great sounds. But if you're on a road trip on the highway, maybe you want it a little bit more quiet. You can close those flaps and the car gets a lot quieter. So tell me about the, the rear wheel steering. How, how is this benefiting me around these curves? Yeah, so around these turns, the rear axle steering helps you get just a little bit more responsive turn in for the car. So at speeds that we're doing, the rear wheels actually turn in the opposite direction as the front wheels, and that helps reduce the overall length of the wheelbase. Even by a small amount, it does make the car turn in a little bit better, and it makes your turning radius noticeably smaller. So it helps you carve up these back roads really well. And how about the, the transmission? The SL55 and the SL63, they both have a handcrafted 4-liter V8 by turbo engine. So it's a, a 4-liter engine, two turbochargers, and that's connected to our AMG SpeedShift MCT transmission. It's okay. a multi-clutch transmission. It has a wet start-off clutch, so when you step on the pedal, it bites really hard. You get good grip off the line. It's got nine speeds, so not only is it sporty and have quick shifts, it also gives you good fuel economy uh, when you're cruising on the highway. And what about the arrow in this car? Yeah, so at the front of the car, there's some cool active arrow. It's called active grill shutters, actually. And there are these vertical shutters mounted in the grill. Okay. It either lets more air into the grill to help cool down the car, or if the engine is at an optimal temperature where it doesn't need more cooling, those shutters can close and it helps reduce the coefficient of drag. And then at the back of the car, of course, we have the deployable rear spoiler, which goes up in angle as your speed increases to give you more and more downforce when you need it the most. Got it. And I enjoy driving, but I also enjoy relaxing. So what, what's the, the biggest plus with this driver's assist? Yeah, so this car has the full suite of driver assistance systems that you would expect from any Mercedes product. Okay. So that means we have Active Distance Assist Distronic, which is a really great radar cruise control system. Helps control your speed in reaction to the vehicle in front of you. And that's just in addition to a plethora of other accident avoidance systems, blind spot assist, lane keeping assist. It really has the gamut of, of safety features that you would expect on a Mercedes product. This Great. looks like a good place to, uh, to pull off. Yeah, let's pull off right here. Wow, what a great view. Wow, this is amazing. What an awesome view. A great view. I mean, you can really see a long way from here. Yeah, you can see for miles. Have you been up here before? I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, it's crazy. I only live literally 15 minutes from here and I've never been up here. Yeah, I, I, I live near Atlanta. I feel like I could almost see the skyline from here. Where, where, where do you see it? Just over the horizon? Yeah, yeah just way off from the horizon. You can, you can kind of see the skyline, I think. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>